guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Anycubic Photon M3 Max. So as you can see here, this is pretty big 3D resin printer. It is incredible. I've taken it out of the box. We did do a video on unboxing it within the actual box itself but that was an absolute disaster it ended up hitting the lighting system and it knocked it all down and it was just absolutely insane and i'll just show you a quick clip of that When you do take it out of the box itself, you will uh, be, you know, um, looking at the cage that it comes in. So there's like a metal cage frame. You will need the small little Allen key there. So there's a small Allen key that comes in this box. You will need that to take those bolts out so that you can take away and remove the, the casing. So once you've done that, you will be left with all your little bits that are, you know, inside the packaging. The packaging was amazing. And that is all here. So we've got everything out. What we're going to do next is we're going to bring you over. We're going to have a look at what it wants us to install first. So we're going to do it step by step and then build it up to how it wants it to be. There is actually a front casing, yellow front casing for this as well. It's just on the floor because there's no space for it. Uh, once we've done that, then we will talk through everything it wants us to put in place. We'll do initial setup, get it ready to print, and then we'll do another video on how to uh, print stuff and how to put, load it onto the SD card or the USB stick or whatever it comes with. And then we'll talk through that and what programs to use and what are the best programs to use as well. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do, as you can see on here, with the packaging, it shows you the metal frame just there and it says that this is screws and then there are massive zip ties which have been cut off. That is what's holding all of the packaging on. So that was what I was referring to a moment ago. When you first get the printer, you want to turn it around so it's facing the back. So it's like this. And then what we need to be doing is installing the back into place. So this section here will just slide onto there. So this is the back in. And once that's in place there, you do get three types of Allen keys. You get a small one, you get a medium one, you get a large one, and you get a pack of three screws here. So the pack of three screws, you will want the ones that have the most in. So they don't have labels on, but you want the ones that have the most in, then you have smaller ones, and then you have bigger ones. You just want the ones that have the most in. They will go two in the side, two in the other side, two in the back on each of the tabs. So you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws in the back here first. We're gonna go pull this film off, and then we're going to install the screws, and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at what we need to do next. Now that the screws are in place, all we have to do is install this carrier on the back. So this is what will hold the resin, because it has an auto fill, which is really good. We'll go over that later on, but this is the resin holder. So what we need to do is that just sits on there, and then there's two more screws that go into place in that hole there and that hole there. So they're the same ones as we used on this, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And we'll be back as soon as that's done. Now that this is in place, all we need to do is check that our resin fits in the slot, which it does, absolutely fine. And then what happens is with this, it has an auto refill. So you get this and then this goes into the bottle. You need to plug it into here. And then what it will do is it will automatically refill when the reservoir is low. So that's really, really cool. But for now, we're gonna take that out because you don't have to use this. You can just fill it up manually. You don't have to use the, the uh, smart fill. You can just keep it as it is. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that on there and then we're gonna move on to the next stage. Now that we have it around the other way, as you can see, it looks excellent. What we're gonna do now is it tells us to peel off this cover here if I can get it and it's got a kind of like a what you'd have on your phone like a screen protector so this is just the top layer of the screen protector as you can see here that says two front and you do get a spare one in there as well which is pretty nice of them to supply this it will protect 
the screen as well. So that is really good. I've just got to take it out of the packaging so you can see where you get the installation of the screen protector is here and the screen protector itself. Number one, you peel that, you will lay it on. Two, you'll peel the bit we just peeled to take it off. And that's really cool because obviously these screens are expensive if they break. So it is nice to have a second one there. So you can get stronger ones if you like, but let's just go with the one that they recommend for now. So that was pretty nice. Right, so as you can see here, this is the sensor for filling up the reservoir. So this is the reservoir here. I'm just calling it the reservoir because this is where the uh, FEP sheet is. So this is called the FEP sheet and this is clear and see-through. At the moment it has a protector on the back, as you can see there. And it does have a maximum fill line. You should be able to see that just at the back there. It says here in black it says maximum. So as you can tell there are two holes either side of the um, the base here and that just slides on there and as you slide it on you will notice this part here ready will go in click into place because that is to measure when you're getting low and then it will tell this that the fluid is low and that the resin needs to be filled back up again and it will fill it back up. In the kit you get two of these bolts here and here. And these are to hold that down so it doesn't move. There are two locating lugs on this as well. You just need to make sure you get those locating lugs in place when you're doing it. And then it will sit in nice and flush. It probably won't go all the way down because I've still got this plastic section on. Then the screws will go through here and through here. And then it will just screw down into place. I'm not going to do it yet, uh, but that is exactly how it goes in. I'll just take these back off again, just real quick, just so I can show you underneath the locating lug. So as you can see here, there is two locating lugs, one there and one there, and that will allow it to sit into place. This is kind of just protecting the FEP, as you can hear there. That is the FEP sheet. What we'll do is we'll take that off for now just so we can pop it in and pop it on properly. It looks kind of misty, I don't know why. I don't know whether there's just another piece on there uh, that we need to remove, but usually that's pretty clear. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna put it in place where it needs to go, and then it will sit flush just like that. As I said before, these will need to just be screwed into here that holds that in place, because the worst thing is that this moves. You do not want this to move at all. So that is like that. And then on this, it shows us, there's a section on here, that shows us the layers and the protection. So it says the screen protector is um, replaceable. It says do not tear off. So it's saying obviously just be careful. And then um, it says that there's a shading sticker as well. So it's all there. And the FEPs on here, you can replace those. Uh, so they are really um, good to probably have some spare ones if you need be. I'm just going to peel this off. There. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get it plugged in. So it comes with an adapter here. Just there. So that's the adapter. And it also has the plug. It's just a UK plug that we've got on there. There's no choice, so I don't know whether you can, uh, you know, request different types of plugs. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go plug it in and then fire it up. And then we're going to have a look at setting and leveling the bed with the base which you build on. So we're going to go do that now. Right, so here we have it all plugged in. So on the side here, I don't know if you can see it just to the side here. I might just scoot it around a little bit so you can see. This is where you will plug it in. So it plugs in from the side, which I found a little bit odd because it would probably be easier if it was at the back. Uh, and then you can just turn it on. And as you turn it on, you'll see the front screen light up uh, like so. And just give it a moment. It doesn't take long. It just has to just initialize. Once you've done that, a couple of things that are good to test. Right, what we'll do now, we'll just take this back out. So we'll take the reservoir back off because we want to do a couple of little tests just to make sure a couple of things on it are working 
while we do it. And I recommend if you do take this off, this section here, if you do take this reservoir off, I always recommend putting it on something like a plastic bag or out the way somewhere where it won't get damaged because if that gets damaged, resin will leak through onto your screen and it will break it. So please just be careful. A couple of tests that we can do on this now. I'm just gonna grab some plain paper. So we're gonna get a clear piece of paper and then pop it on the top of here. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that in just a moment and you will see why in a second. So once that's on there, you go onto here, you've got print, system and tools. If you click onto tools, you can do exposure. So you can check that all your LEDs are working on this before we go any further. So what we need to do is just click on this little square here and then we go to next and it will do an exposure test. And as long as that lights up the whole thing and there's no areas where the LEDs are not lighting up and the screen isn't purple, then you know that if there is an issue, if it doesn't light up or there's some that are missing. So you need to check that. That is quite an important thing to check when you're first setting it up. We'll go back on here. We want to make sure that this axis is okay and it's working fine. So we'll go to move Z axis and that is the up and down motion so as you can see here if you have 0.1 millimeter that will move up one millimeter if you have it set to one millimeter you can move it down one millimeter if you go to 10 millimeter and then you click on the 10 millimeter and then press up it should then go up 10 millimeter so it'll do probably five and then ten so and then if we do it again as you can see, it goes up in increments. If we did one mil, it will only go up a very, very small amount. 0.1 mil is literally... Oh, oh. There you go. So one mil, up, 10 mil, just to get it to go up out of the way. And the reason we want this to go up out of the way is because we want to be able to install the, the base where it will print on to... Here, so this is where it's going to print your designs and this needs to be high enough so you can get that on and slide that over. So what we need to do is we need to lift this up so that it will fit underneath. So once that's up out of the way, this will go on and then hopefully enough to slide under there. There we go, like so. And then this will hold it in place. So it's a quick release for when your prints are done but that's pretty much the basic setup of it, guys. That is how you do all the tests and stuff. I mean, obviously, I'll just go through a few things that are in the kit. So you have the instruction manual. You get the pipes to go on the resin filler at the back, which we'll do at a later date. You also get a scraper. I don't know why we've got an old fashioned looking scraper there, uh, but there we have. And we've also got a plastic scraper as well that comes in the kit. I don't know what this one says, it's screen protector accessories, it's probably just an alcohol prep pad or something in there. Um, by the looks of it, it is, you can kind of see through it, and it says alcohol prep pad. I don't know if you can see that through there, but that is that. You get some gloves, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they give you some gloves, and they give you a mask. And by the looks of it, there might be a resin filters in there. Yeah, so these are the little filters to clean the resin. Because when you put the resin back into it after you're finished and you are cleaning out your, um, you know, your resin res reservoir, you want to pour it into here before you pour it back into your bottle. Because if you have any big chunks in there, you don't want those going into it and ruining in it. So you want to make sure that you're okay with that. So that's what comes in there as well. As I said, a mask, I don't know what it's going to do. It's not really very filtered. Uh, but if you're using water-based ones, you should be okay. Just do it in a well-ventilated room. And as you have here, you get a little USB stick. So that's pretty cool. And the USB stick, guys, goes just here. So it goes in the side, just like that. I don't know if there's anything on there. We can return and have a look but I don't think there will be anything on the USB stick. You have to load them on, but we will go through that and explain everything to you how to do that in the next video. This video is just unboxing and basic setup for getting everything ready to go. So there you go. That's all that came in there other than the Allen keys. And this, I'm guessing this is a guarantee. I don't know.
it's really hard to tell because it's not in our language so there you go guys i really hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it please stay tuned for the next video where we'll be doing an actual print on this and an initial setup you're probably thinking where's the front where's the front the front is here we just haven't put it on yet it's very big but once you have it in place i need to peel the plastic off but that will just sit in there like so and then that slides over it does have a really nice fit but that is just there just to keep it safe uh, so that when you are printing you don't get any splashes and things like that and just to make sure that obviously light from outside doesn't come through and ruin your prints as well so guys if you like this video please remember to smash that like button please remember to comment if you want any advice on how to set up your anycubic photon m3 max and uh you know i'll possibly hopefully see you guys on the next video thank you and see you again bye bye